This is JC Masterpiece, and we are starting out the Paris tour with Peach Cup. So we've got Peach Cup started. Very first race is the Paris Promenade. So this is the first one coming from um, this is the first one coming from the Peach race, and it is the exclusive to this tour. We have got Peach as our character. Trying to select the next cart. There are, I have none of the good carts. So let's see, what do I want to build up? I think I'm gonna try to shoot for something that is close to 300 in order to work towards my 300 goal. Um, what have I got that I want to use? Okay, let's go with the Flame Flyer. And then that leads us with the Peach's Parasol. No brainer there. It gives me red shells, a bonus for red shells. Off we go. The Louvre. Okay. Go. Okay. So I've not pl tried this track yet. This is a first run. I have not played this track yet. So I got to figure out how this goes. What kinds of curves and everything are in this. Starting out in fourth place, ooh, with the frenzy. That's always nice, a nice start. Oop. We got somebody using the star boost. Oop, took out a. Yep, took out. And what is going on with this guy? Right, le left, left, left. Ah! Oh, I hate it when that happens. I don't know the track. I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I turned the wrong way. In that case, I got hit. But I'm still in first place, so that's what's important. Okay, and then I got run over. That's always helpful. Fourth place. Should be able to come back from that. Hopefully. Well, this is an early race, so coming back from something like that should be pretty easy all the way around. Assuming I don't run into major, major problems, which usually doesn't happen on the first race. Usually that's something that's saved for later on. And Goombas, that's what they're called. Oh, man, talk about a brain fart. <clears throat> okay, so finally figured out what those were that I was talking about. Third place overall so far. Wow, and there it's the end right there. Never mind, looks like I'm taking fourth place. Wow, very first race of the very first tour, of the very first cup in, the very, in, in this tour, and I end up with fourth place because I kept getting hit by stuff. Usually that's reserved more for the later cups. Usually they try to make these early, not even four, not even five grand stars. Wow, that is surprising. Usually five grand stars is really easy to get. Got my daily challenges, banana and mushroom. <clears throat> Moving on to the next race. Super horn usually takes me a while to get. It's not something I get on a regular basis. And got bob -omb challenge, got bob -omb. Stars, three hits of bob bombs in a single race, so that's good. Okay, moving on to Cheap Cheap Lagoon. Okay, let's go with Ro... Oh, yeah, eh, that's going to be a tough one. Okay, Koopa Trooper, I, I'm going to skip over the first ones completely and go straight with Koopa Trooper. Super Blooper and Peach Parasol. Okay, yeah, I didn't really like either of those that are, were in the three tier, and this is an early race, so I just skipped over to the ones that made more sense to me. I like Rosalina, my favorite female character from the series, but I do not like her special. Okay, so are we going to run into the same issue that we ran with the other race? Let's take the shortcut, for those that don't know about it, though... It is debatable as to whether this is really a shortcut or not. I just keep hitting these things. Fifth place. I remember the first time I did this track, I had a really... First couple times I did this track, I had a really hard time with that thing on the side. Um, but I actually haven't tried it in a while. Third place. Second place. Took out the person in second place, so now I'm in second place overall. Let's see if I can sneak up into first place. 
Green shells. Going to skip by that shortcut because I'm not overly convinced that that shortcut is a shortcut. It just gets me out of firing range for some of this stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Wasn't necessarily going to let me get the stuff, so I skipped right over them. Okay, and I missed the coins as well. I missed the, the cutoff and I missed the coins. And there's a nice red shell to get me going. And my first place became second place because Peach passed me when that red shell was there. Okay, 56.79. Will that be enough for five stars? Let's take a look. Vinny94 beat me. I went to level 22. I got 100 coins as a result. Build up my all my stuff. 56.87 was enough. Wow, 5,100 for starting out. This is the first cup. Seems like they may be amping things up just a little bit. The difficulty up just a little bit. Feel bad for all the people that are doing this new for the first time. That are just jumping in for the first time. Because, well, that will be. Because this is a little trickier than, seems to be a little trickier than normal. I could be wrong. For those of you that are playing, if <clears throat> I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments what you think. But I am definitely thinking of this a little trickier than normal. Got my turbo go. Okay, and Wendy O. Koopa. It's funny because she's only called Wendy here, but when she made her debut in the Super NES, her name was Wendy O. And since she's a Koopa king, a kid, a Koopaling. So I, I honestly don't understand this whole Bowser Jr. thing when there were already the Koopa Kids. Because the Koopa Kids appeared in Super Mario World and the SNES, and then the um and then Bowser Jr. appeared in the Nintendo 60. Well no no. Um it was the GameCube one. Sunshine, Super Mario Sunshine is where Bowser Jr. appeared. But the Koopa Lings were already there, but they treat Bowser Jr. like he is the first. Okay, so 6627. Was that enough? It was a decent run. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Unless they really amped things up. That will give us... Come on, what do we got? 6635. They keep doing that. At the end of the race, it says 66.27. When I get the points, it's 66.35. I don't mind gaining the extra points, but I don't understand why. Okay, land three green shell hits in a single race. One got a grand star as a result. Also unlocked. Fantastic combo three times. Star as a result of that. Okay, so on to the time trial. Okay, this will give us an idea as to whether they amp things up. Okay, I did run into an issue with this because my recording, my initial recording did not work. So, I hit the record, ran through the race, at the end of the race, looked up and the recording didn't go and the recording hadn't taken. It was like I had never hit it at all. I've run into that quite a bit. Um, so this is actually not a first run of this time trial. So this should give you an idea as to kind of how things have amped up just a little bit. Time trial, use my mushroom to take that shortcut. Used a mushroom pretty early on, and then use that mushroom. And let's see. Catch those coins. Come around this curve. Miss the pipes. Take this short. Miss the coins, but the coins really don't matter. Let's see where we can rate. Okay, cleared. And do I get three stars? This is JC Masterpiece and 5518. Not enough for three stars. Wow, they have kind of ramped up the difficulty this time around. Okay, this is JC Masterpiece. This has been Mario Kart Tour, the Paris Tour Peach Cup. So feel free to like and to subscribe and to comment. 
Um, what are your thoughts on the whole change in the difficulty level from the very beginning? Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and have a great day.